Hello everybody, lovely to be with you this morning. One of the great books about the sea was written by the aviator Anne Morrow Lindbergh, who wrote The Gift of the Sea, a classic. And in that book she says this, I want to be at peace. I want a singleness of eye, a purity of intention, a central core to my life. I want to live in grace. Let me say that again. I want to be at peace. I want a singleness of eye, a purity of intention, a central core to my life. I want to live in grace. Those are words worth thinking about. Is there any of us who does not want peace in our souls? Is there any of us that does not want that sense of singleness of purpose in our lives? Like Paul says in Philippians, this one thing I do, a purity of intention, simply to be able to honor and love God in everything that we do, a central core to my life. Do you have a central core to your life? Jesus, the one true and sure and steadfast foundation. I want to live in grace. Now when we talk about peace, I, I hear so much of what Jesus says on that subject. You remember when he was out there on the ocean with his disciples, the Sea of Galilee rather, uh, a storm got up. And Jesus was asleep in the boat and, and uh, the disciples were busy trying to bail water out the water. And eventually they wake up Jesus and they say, don't you care that we are about to drown? And Jesus, you remember, got up and he faced the elements, the wind and the, way, and the waves, and he said, peace, be still. And everything went calm. And the disciples were amazed and they said, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the waves obey him? Jesus who commands peace. All the words that he spoke uh, in the upper room with his disciples, amongst the, the, the many words that he spoke, and he is, he's kind of doing last farewells and farewell thoughts, and, and he says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And then after the resurrection, Jesus is with his disciples. And they are surprised to see him because he seemingly appears from nowhere. And he then says, Peace be with you. And then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. This is a place where I experience something of the peace of God. So, by all means, remember the words of Anne Lindbergh. I want to be at peace. I want a... Uh, a singleness of eye, a purity of intention, a central core to my life. I want to live in grace. Fine, remember that, but more particularly, remember the words of Jesus. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Receive the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ this day.